I would like to say thank you for watching my video. I like to apologize beforehand about the background noise. I had something going on in headphones that I was trying to listen to. I make a bit at the same time and that background noise happened to come through. Even though you can still hear my voice over it, um, just try to ignore it the best you can. But anyway, um, thank you for your time. Uh, thank you for watching and enjoy the video. Hey, what's up peeps? Today I'm gonna make a video today uh, using a red t-shirt. And I have my Havana right there about to go through the quick cut. And we're using Dallas Canvas t-shirt. And so I'm just gonna come around here and let you see what's about to happen. So here's my quick cut. And here it is, uh, the image already up on The screen here so everything's already set up all right so what i'm going to do now is hit continue right down there okay and it's going to upload here all right then it's ready for the quick cut then i just have to hit this button here And it's gonna start the process. Now I'm not gonna sit here and um, let you see the process, but I'll get back to you after it's done. Okay, we're back and now we're here for round two, which is going to be the front uh, chest hit and the sleeve. So we're gonna go ahead and um, get those going started here on the quick cut. So once again, I'm gonna go to continue. All right, it's all set and ready. And press that button and let the weeding begin. And I'll be back with you after this ends because this is a little long process and I'd rather not bore you with watching this because it's just boring. So I'll be right back. Here is my pieces of vinyl cut out. I know as I slightly move the camera, you can see that outline, which I'm gonna start doing the weeding process, which is tedious and fun, but it also just depends on, you know, how uh, complicated the image is on how much weeding you're gonna have to do. It shouldn't be that bad, but uh, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back to you because, of course, it'll take me a minute and I don't want to bore you with that process. And then, of course, I used my exacto knife to cut it and then there's just the remaining scraps, you know, just in case you want to use another, I mean, in another process. And we're going to be using this neon yellow, I suppose. So we're going to be using, of course, like I said, on that red shirt. So I'll be right back with you. Now here is some of the weeding that I already did. And then this is the one I just, I almost am completed now. I did the tedious parts. Now I just have to take the whole piece off and then it looked like this. And of course you can see my little whatever. And um, this is my little weeding tool. <laughs> it's a thing I had uh, actually when I was in college from one of my art supplies and I just used this to weed. You know, I know you can get, uh, you know, tools for these things, but this has uh, been working ever since. So I just never thought to myself to actually buy one. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm going to finish weeding this out and then um, we'll get to pressing. All right, people. Now, this is, uh, you know, of course, uh, what you're going to see. So once it's done, I went ahead and put my tape down on there. Um, this image is going to be uh, going on the shoulder. Uh, but I just haven't put that on there yet because I haven't got to that process. And then the other image is on the back. And I will then show you that image on the back uh, once I start pressing. But this is, of course, the image you're going to see on the front of the shirt. And you can see how awesome that color on the red is really pops. All right, folks, um, I have the press flipped for the back print. I have... My temperature, 340, and that's 60 seconds. 
this is just what I do. This is what I've, this works for me. Now, of course, different vinyls, maybe different temperatures, um, but I just always go at 60. That just works for me. So I just put it at 60, press it, walk away, and then peel it off. So here we go. Put that in there. I'm going to press it. All right. So let it do its thing. And then I'll come back when everything's done. I went ahead and flipped another side. And we're just going to hit it real quick um, for about 40 seconds. So once it gets to 20, I'm going to pop it up. Cool. So then I'm going to take it off and I'm going to peel off the front print and then also the back print after it cools off for a second. Now before that I do that, I'm just going to wipe just to get it in there. Right. Get it. And then I also will do that on the uh, back of the shirt as well and then we'll go ahead and add the uh, the shoulder logo and then we'll be able to peel it all off and make it happen and you'll get to see the finished product and here we go just filling up the sleeve to complete the shirt pop up like i said 60 seconds what i do and i just gotta wipe it in there and you basically got to, you know, some people like peel quick. I, I don't. I like to let it cool off for a second. So it doesn't, uh, oh, my bad, I'm not even showing it. I like to let it rub it in there real quick after it comes up, after the heat press pops. So, and then wipe it and get into the material. And then I like to let it cool off for a second, you know. But you know, people have, you know, there are different methods on how to do this, but this is just my method. And I just let it cool off for a second. So it's probably good to go right about now. So you go ahead. And this is peeling off nicely. Okay. Oh, look at that, came out nicely. Okay, and usually after I peel it off, I've been hit it one more time, just for like 20 seconds. So we'll just do that for like 10 seconds. All right. So we're just gonna let it hit for about 20 seconds. Get that extra little. And just pop that again. All right. And then I'll show you the finished product here over here on the table. All right, people. And that's it. That is the finished product. And then here we go with the sleeve hit. Then I'm just going to throw it on the back here. Let me show you. The back turned out, and there you have it the finished product. And just look how nice that came out, and how it just pops. And this may be on my website, it may not. I just wanted to make something because I just love to create, and I just want to show you once again I have my Crick Cut. It's just hooked up to my computer with my program. This just popped up on there. But yeah, this is it. Program, it's really simple. You just upload your image, size your image, make sure to flip your image. Click the make it to go through the process. It prints out and then boom, finished product. And this is just what I love to do. Of course, this is so many t-shirts that I've made with the vinyl a couple hoodies but yeah i just separated on my black shirts my white shirts and then 
the colored t-shirts. So if you guys like what you've seen, please like and subscribe to my channel. And once again, my name is Keith Green with American T-Shirt Co. Thank you for your time. Have a good night and see you next time.